with breaking news. Good afternoon, everyone. We have been bringing you updates throughout the morning from a high school stabbing not far from the city of Pittsburgh. It happened this morning at Franklin Regional High School that's located in Murraysville. That's about 50 miles from Johnstown. If you drive to Pittsburgh on Route 22, you have been through the area. Now, when we heard how bad this was, we sent Carrie Corrado to the school, and she joins us live there with the details. Carrie? Bill, that's, Bill, that's right. We got here. The emergency director tells me 19 students and one staff member were injured. We're told a 16-year-old sophomore is in custody. Police say the student walked into the school down the hallway, flashing knives, and that's how so many students were injured. We're also being told we weren't able to get closer to the scene, but we're told it was mass chaos, a lot of traffic backup, but there is a high police presence there as well. But again, here is chopper video of the scene right when it happened. You're taking a look at that right now. Police say a staff member at Franklin Regional made a call over the radio. That's when all emergency personnel in the surrounding areas were dispatched. A student tells me she walked down the hallway and the student pulled the fire alarm and she thought it was a prank. Teachers started panicking and she looked out the nurse's window and she saw a student lying down on his side and there was a teacher on top of him screaming help. They were all evacuated to the football field and then they walked down to the middle school and stayed there for about two and a half hours. Police say once they arrived, he saw victims lying on the grass and students injured in the hallway. Okay, we weren't able to get that sound for you now, but we were able to talk to a student who was just walking out of the building, and we were also able to talk to the police uh, police chief right now. As we speak, a press conference is going on, so we'll get that to you shortly. But again, that student is in custody, and we'll bring you more information when it becomes available. But again, we'll head over to that press conference right now. Bill, back to you. All right, Carrie, thank you. A doctor says some of the victims of the stabbing have suffered life-threatening injuries, although all of those victims are expected to survive. Our Jen Johnson joins us now with more on critical medical response that is happening right now. Jen? Well, Bill, many of the victims were rushed to Forbes Medical Center, Regional Medical Center. That trauma center is only a few miles away from Franklin High School in Murraysville. Doctors there confirming just within the hour that two victims are in the operating room while a third is awaiting surgery. Now, some of the victims were slashed. Others suffered scrapes and cuts in the mayhem after the attacks. But at this hour, we can tell you there are four students who are in really bad shape suffering from deep puncture wounds. Let's listen in. They were all knife wounds. Uh, most of them were to the lower abdomen. And uh, they seemed to, um, to actually almost have a pattern. Most of them were to the right lower abdomen and the right flank. And, and that created some of the criticality of their wounds. Now, as you can imagine, this really has shaken the community to the core. For many members of this trauma team, these victims are somebody they know, somebody their kids know. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist. I, I've a number of these patients, their moms are our patients in our practice. These are kids that we very likely delivered. And, um, but I think that the team doesn't really react with emotions. And if, if I'm emotional, it might just be coming out now, as opposed to earlier, the response was a clinical response. The team did what they had to do. And one thing about being a doctor that lives in the community that you serve, you can become emotional because these are your friends and neighbors in addition to your patients. Now again, all the victims are expected to survive their wounds, but the emotional wounds may indeed be really more difficult to recover from in all this. We want to get you right now to a news conference that's happening at Franklin High Principal School. Let's Officer listen in there. The individual is still being questioned by law enforcement, and that information will come out later on. What's yeah, his name? I can't release that at this Nothing. point. Yeah, no. Can the superintendent uh, tell us when the last time there was a drill, any kind of safety exercise here at the school? It was pro I mean, we, you know, that's the one thing that we're very fortunate here. Uh, we work very closely. The Department of Public Safety works with the school district. I know we were just up here probably three months ago uh, for a tabletop exercise, and we had a full-scale exercise here uh, about a year ago. So, uh, you know, Franklin Regional School District has been proactive when it comes to any type of school incidents that occur. And, uh, you know, these plans are, are reviewed 
and the plan will be reviewed after this uh, situation to see if anything needs to be improved upon. Uh, you know, we have to look at it from the standpoint that what we saw happen here today uh, was a, a very good evidence that the plan does work and the students are, you know, safe as safe can be. Uh, we haven't lost a life and I think that's what we have to keep in mind. Remember, we, we have to keep the people that are affected by this, the 19 students and the one faculty member that was uh, involved in the actual stabbings. We want to make sure that our thoughts go out to those people. Uh, it's it's their, their world that we have to worry about right now. Uh, the school will resume and we will be back as strong as you were in the past, if not stronger in the future. Thank you for everyone. Thank you. A question for the superintendent. Can we talk place at the school? No, no other questions. Now again, that was uh, EMA Director from Westmoreland County, Dan Stevens, in a live news conference. Governor Tom Corbett issued a statement this morning saying that he was shocked and saddened upon learning the events that occurred this morning as students arrived at Franklin Regional High School, adding as a parent and grandparent, he could think of nothing more distressing than senseless violence against children. Of course, 6 News is continuing to follow the stabbing at Franklin Regional High School. You can stay up to date on the latest information on our website at WJACTV.com and also on our Facebook page and Twitter.